Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Now, deposit the right eye in the cleaning re Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job! Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them then close up the faceplate and we'll call it a day. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other- Oh no! It looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear the infestation, apply the Fazbear Entertainment Restaurant. Avoid inhaling the chemi spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Well done. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs another dose of the chemi spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as needed. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Great job! Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. Go on, take it. Delicious. See you next time. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth.
Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can act carefully. Place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of- Oh no. It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Well done. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must add. Great job. Deposit the left eye in the clip. Well done. Now, deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, careful. Well done. You now have access. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job! Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them then close up the faceplate and we'll call it a day. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. Yeah! Welcome back to parts and service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. 
Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Good job. Make sure Chica is- Oh no! It looks like Chica. Avoid inhaling the chemi spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Oh no! It looks like the chemi spray is no longer effective. To combat the infestation, pick them off by hand if not. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Great job! Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a pump delicious. See you next time. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. For good job. Now place the hat in the lost and while we're at it. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch and good job. It appears there is a child. Carefully place the music box on the work table. Great job. To reset the safety latch. Press the button. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cap, that concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Well done. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. I came in early that morning. No one else was there. At least that's what I thought. The supply room was lit. I didn't even notice Jeremy standing in the testing room as I walked past. The supply room was so bright, glowing from all the way down the hall. Jeremy complained of nightmares when he came in this morning. 
He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale. Looked like he hadn't eaten in days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office, but it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. I knew I was in line to do the testing next. They'd been prepping me for it. I guess they knew that Jeremy would need to be replaced soon. You can always tell when a company is getting ready to fire someone. They start giving out written warnings for silly things, making sure to build a paper trail and make a case for a firing. Things that normally no one would care about suddenly become grave offenses, all worthy of being written and documented. I guess it works two ways, because it also encourages a person to quit rather than be scrutinized so heavily. I think Jeremy was too far gone to consider that option, though. The thing about it is that I don't think they were going to fire him because of anything he was doing wrong. They just knew he'd seen something. They needed to discredit him. There was something that looked like a Halloween mask laying on the floor. I didn't understand. Ink must have spilled. It was only then that I heard a shuffle from the testing room and realized Jeremy must be there. I went back and peered in the window. I couldn't see his face. He had the visor covering his head. He had ink spilled on himself as well. The front of his shirt looked black in the dark room. He turned his head in my direction, but I don't think he knew I was there. I was told I had three days to finish Jeremy's work. But I know it's just passing the time. They don't really expect me to do anything. It's just to keep up appearances until the buyout is complete. We have to look like we have things under control. There's another potential development studio that wants to pick up from here. But who knows what kind of lies they're being fed to convince them to do it. Against my better judgment, I'm going to do my best to see what's here, make notes of it, and try to isolate where this thing is hiding. At least then, the next person that tests this will have a chance of getting rid of it.